Uh, good morning. Uh, happy Memorial Day 2021. Uh, this is Memorial Day weekend. And we're going to make up a few treats to, uh, to go for the day. So what we're going to do, do today is we're going to make up a, an Oreo truffle cookie. And it's actually pretty simple. Um, we're going to take one package of Oreos. Just a regular package, not the one we've got. We've got the family package, so I had to remove some. So anyway, what we're going to want is about 14 ounces of regular Oreos with the filling intact. We're not going to remove the filling. We're going to run these through a food processor. And ours is pretty small, so I'm going to have to do this in batches. And what we want to do is just chop these up. <clears throat> Resemble beach sand. been warmed. This is now room temperature. Ta -da. And we just want to get this actually. I don't really like the way that's coming in. That's mixing too thin. So we're going to switch. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, now what we need to do is roll these into little balls. And what I've got here is a half tablespoon measuring spoon. We want these about so that they make up a, like a one inch ball. And we're just going to... Okay, now what we're going to do, before I switch over pans, I'm going to go ahead and roll these out into balls. Here again, they don't have to be perfect, just ballpark. What we're going to do is put these in the refrigerator and chill them before we put a white chocolate coating on them. When the, when the uh, cream cheese gets well chilled, um, that will solidify our balls and our truffles, and uh, we'll be able to dip those in chocolate. So we're just going to refrigerate these for right now, and we'll be back in about 20 minutes. Hey, next step, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to melt some uh, white chocolate. And it's going to take a little while, so we're going to, we set this up on a double boiler. We need enough here that we can dip those truffles in, so we're going to just dump in the whole package. A 
chunks in there yet. So. Take this. Okay, uh, just like that, all right. Really get a little inventive as to how to handle these. Because we want plenty of chocolate on our truffle, but we don't want to waste it either. Well, here we have it, and uh, they actually taste very good. They're surprising. Um, I'm not much of a chocolate fan, but these are quite quite delicious. Um, the uh, what we did, we dipped these in white chocolate, and my wife added a few sprinkles to a few of them because she likes those. It, they're colorful, and uh, so now all we have to do is let these cool. We've got a window open here. Um, and this white chocolate should cool quite quickly. But in the meantime, we should probably test one of these. Oh yeah, it's starting to set up quite nicely, actually. Mm. Very good. For homemade truffle, you can't go wrong. These are every bit as good as what you can buy in a bakery. So, Give these a try. They're very simple. Um, they can be a lot of fun. Get the kids involved and uh, have a happy uh, Memorial Day weekend. Bye-bye.